Welcome back. Well, after a surge in travel over the summer, airline prices are once again cooling off. Yay! And it's got folks at Thrifty Traveler very excited. None more than our next guest, our dear friend, the founder of Thrifty Traveler, the one and only <laughs> Jared, everybody. He's back. Okay, now I love this. We, right before, did they not know we were doing this segment? I'm just dropping bombs on you, like right before the segment starts. Because literally, I wish you guys could see this. Leo, take camera five. On the card for Jared, the first thing says, fares to Europe are dirt cheap. Jared sits down <laughs> in the commercial break, and what did you just say to me? I was like, yeah, you know what we we're going to talk about? Well, it's kind of gone, but yeah. it's not really. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Oh, let's talk about it. So, what are we looking at here? So, in the last week, since like Wednesday of last week, we've seen the cheapest fares from almost every airport in the United States to Europe that we've ever seen. So, like... $275 from Minneapolis to like Madrid, Rome. Normally these are like as much as $1,000 or $1,200. So I know it's like, you're like $200, you know, that's how much it costs to go to Chicago or, or fly Chicago to is more expensive yeah, nowadays. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. So like things in, you know, at Thrifty Traveler, it seems like we're hitting like the bottom of pricing. But I mean, still this morning you can book um, almost every U.S. airport, inclu including, of course, like Minneapolis, Duluth, Fargo, you know, to Europe for $400. So still, you know, discounted a good four to $500. Did you see this coming? Um, or is this a surprise to you? It's you as low as they are is surprising. You know, 300s, you know, that would be great. But then you see 200s and you're like, whoa, like the airlines are concerned. Like they need cash to survive. So the one thing they can do is lower prices. They're going for volume. They are. They They're have, going they for volume. Cash. Well, and you just, you know where, well, you, per usual, you know what you're talking about. You just returned from Germany and France. Yeah. What do we need to know? I mean, you, you live it for us. What do we, what are we looking at? Yeah. So the rules for, you know, travel to Europe are changing all the time. Um, you know, it was that, you know, if you had a COVID-19 you know, test, you could, you could enter Europe. It's getting a little bit more difficult right now with uh, COVID situation in general. So it is easier to go if you have been vaccinated, but you're really going to have to check the rules. And we have a great guide at thriftytraveler.com. You can just type in country by country guide in our search bar or on our homepage. It's right there I will with all those rules. I will tell you per usual, uh, I, I walk the walk. Jared helped me with Hawaii a, a few months ago. Small crowds, I heard that you yes, said, yeah. Yes, for sure. Like it was just, you know, when we were in Germany, it was German tourists or Italy, Italian tourists. You know, we saw very few Americans. Here's a little, what are we looking at here, Jared? I think we are in this Germany? on the Swiss German border. Yes, yes. So that's the Rhine River. So yeah, just a nice little spot. It was nice and quiet. Um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. Where, where has now that you every time I you've been on the show I've asked you this but now there's been years and more trips right now if I had to peg you down where is one of your favorite locations that you've been recently? Yeah I love the mountains like Switzerland, Austria, southern Germany which you were seeing right there you know my wife loves cities yeah um, so you know but right now you know Italy cheap Italy is you know so easy to to get to and it's relatively inexpensive once you get there and the food and drink I don't think I need to explain to anybody yeah no I mean it speaks for itself what happens you know uh, we were talking about rules and restrictions do you know what happens and again go to thrifty for, for specific details what if you get there and you test positive or I mean are you stuck or what happens <laughs> yeah. yes that is the ultimate anxiety producing you know risk that you take that you'd have to quarantine you know for up to two weeks um, before you'd be able to come back to the United States so that is kind of terrifying that oh just a little bit <laughs> again I had that even going to Hawaii let's talk about some other deals right now it wouldn't be a Jared appearance without that yeah. what do we, oh he yeah, pulled out the, the sheet list. and the list is pretty big because we've got some crazy that's fine deals. we have two minutes I just all heard right, so it's all perfect right, all right so United so things are changing every single day you know we talk about those Europe deals you know that are no longer here, no kidding we just some yeah. stuff popped up this morning so Minneapolis and this is through spring of 2022 Minneapolis to Bozeman for $96 Round trip on United huh. uh, through May. Minneapolis to Savannah, Georgia, which is a great city it's if you great. haven't visited. Yeah. 96 bucks again through May. Myrtle Beach, 
uh, 96 bucks and Los Angeles $96. So whether you want to go, you know, in a few weeks or through, you know, next spring, it's 96 bucks. These aren't going to last very long. So hop on Google Flights to yeah. book. Um, you know, if you want to get these emails to your inbox, sign up for Thrifty Traveler Premium because they're the first to know. Another deal that just died 20 minutes ago was Minneapolis to Puerto Rico for $136. What? Yeah, and that's normally like. But it's dead, folks. Don't, it's don't, yeah, I it's know, dead. I know, I'm just. <laughs> but yeah, these are the things that are popping up. And we always say the, the hotter the deal, the shorter it lasts. So, you know, if you get an alert from Thrifty Traveler or you see something crazy, just book it. Yes, because remind folks, I still yeah. think a lot of people don't know, the law is, what yeah. is it again? U.S. Department of Transportation rule that if you book a flight directly through the airline, you know, use Google Flights, then book directly through Delta, American, or whatever, you can cancel it within 24 hours of booking. So book now, ask questions later, as we always do, you know, talk to your spouse, friend, or family member that you're going to travel with, and then you know, if it doesn't work, you can just cancel it directly through the airline, and they'll refund it right to your credit card within 24 hours. I call it the home goods rule. You know, when you go to home goods and you see something like, should I get that mirror? And then you leave, you don't get it, and then you regret it, and you go back, and it's gone. It is exactly the same. That's a, seriously. <laughs> hey, we posted earlier on our Facebook page your questions for Jer. We got a lot of them. He'll be answering them when we come back. Back in a moment. That's crazy. Is Chicago still expensive? Let's make it a good day. We do it our own way. Let's make it a good day. Oh, no matter what they say. Oh, yeah. You know, I never did get to say congratulations to our creative service team. And the guys at Yam House, that promotion was nominated for an Emmy, singing our theme song. Welcome back. We're here with Jared from Thrifty Traveler. He's now answering your travel-related questions from the Jason Show Facebook page. Okay, Leo, let's roll. First up uh, is Christine. She asks, hey, Jared, are COVID procedures the same in all airports with all airlines? Great question. Yeah, so thankfully, everything is kind of streamlined. No matter where you go in the U.S. or elsewhere in the world, you, there's a mask man date for the most part so just masks as soon as you enter the airport as soon as you get on the plane still mask and then when you leave mask so I will mask. add and I, I don't mean to keep bringing up Hawaii but it is a news you can use a flight attendant on our flight said okay we're here at the airport run off this plane because it's almost like going through customs Hawaii makes you go through a scanning uh, a screening process where you have to show a QR code that you're negative and she goes there's four flights landing right now you two run off this plane <laughs> and we ran and we got in the front of the line Save you a, lot a lot of time, of time. yeah yes. uh, let's see who's next Rosalie hi Rosalie she asks trying to go to California for uh, MEA is there a chance flights will go down in price or should I buy now yeah, so MEA, you know, that's like, what is that, four or five weeks yeah. out? So we're starting to get a crunch time where flights start to get more expensive, especially during MEA. So what I would recommend is go to Google Flights and go to their Explore button. And if you're open to going to, you know, let's say maybe San Francisco, maybe San Diego, type in like five or seven different uh, uh California destinations and then have that explore tool pop up and see which one is the cheapest. Okay. Um, because it's that's a, great a tool. very high demand time to travel. Next is Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Uh, Jared, as one acquires a few credit cards for miles, how long do you keep them? Cindy, this is a question near and dear to my heart. My you're, the, <laughs> you're the Yoda of this. <laughs> my wife and I have had over 100 credit cards in the last decade, which sounds, well, it is a little mental. But, you know, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But what, what we always say is, you know, keep the card open for, you know, 10, 11 months. And, you know, if you have an annual fee coming up, you know, ask yourself, is it worth keeping this card open? And if it's not, just close it, use the miles, close it, uh, and look for another card. That's what I would recommend. I've done that. I've done all of your tricks. It, it didn't ding the credit rating that much. You know, there's a fluctuation. Temporarily. Fluctu Temporarily yeah, yeah. it dings it, and then it goes right back up, unless you don't pay your bills. Yes. Uh, Jeff and Karen have the next question. Hi, guys. Priceline, Expedia, Travelocity, which one offers better deals? All right, Jeff and Karen, if you're booking flights, I'm a broken record, use Google Flights. Yep. You get to book directly through the airline, and that is just so important. Um, for hotels, you know, use those tools, Travelocity, you know, Kayak, or whatever. But once you find the hotel and the price you want, I would still recommend going directly to the hotel's website and booking direct, because if you have any issues or need Thank to you. cancel, it's going to make your life so much easier. We recommended it to a relative. We said, book through the airline, check those, oh, yeah. check 
but booked the airline he didn't. He needed to cancel, and there was a hullabaloo. Ugh. And I said, eh, no, it is. Finally, Jody asks, what, we are tentatively planning a trip to Disney this winter. Is it safe with COVID numbers going back up? Uh, we can tag team this one. I, you guys know this. I've been there in the height of the pandemic uh, for job three, and I've been there when it's, the numbers have dropped. I'm not being flip. I have felt safer there because of all of their rules and guidelines, and you're predominantly outside. I have felt safer there. I feel safer there than I do sometimes going to a, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Home Depot or no offense, Home Depot, but I feel safer there than I feel going to a store or a restaurant where I'm not sure. Other public places. Yes, yes. Yeah. I feel totally safe. And I've gotten, I've been there five times during the, and felt totally safe and continue to feel safe. Disney's taking it pretty seriously. Very seriously. You, you, you can't be a Yahoo. I mean, they'll, they'll immediately remove you. So yeah, I feel very, very, very safe. Jared from Thrifty Traveler, give it up everybody for the latest travel news and deals. Head to, you know it, thriftytraveler.com. If you are a traveler, Jared said broken record, I'll say it again. If you're a traveler and you like the best deals, sign up for the premium service. It's helped my friends, it's helped us many, many times. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back right after this. Thank you, buddy. Where's your next trip? Uh...